Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to replace the coolant reservoir for a Chevrolet Tahoe Suburban Silverado as well as their GM counterparts between the years of 2000 and 2006. The first thing we need to do is make sure the engine is cold and then we're going to attach a line of tubing to the drain port on the radiator. Put the other end of the tube in a bucket and open the drain port. We basically just need to remove the coolant from the system. We're going to wait a while as the coolant uh, is purged from the system. It also helps to open the reservoir cap. Next, with all the coolant out of the system, we can begin removing the tubes that lead into the coolant reservoir. If this video has helped you at all, please give it a like. Once the coolant tubes have been removed, we can remove the bolt and nut that hold the cooling reservoir in place. Now we can remove our coolant reservoir. Next, we're going to unplug our coolant level sensor. Next, we're going to compare our old coolant reservoir to our new one to make sure that is identical. Next, we're going to replace our coolant reservoir. Now we're going to replace the nut and bolt that we removed earlier so the reservoir stays in place. Now we're going to reattach all the cooling tubes we removed off of the reservoir earlier.
Next, we're going to open our new reservoir cap. Now we're going to add coolant until it is filled to the fill line. Now we're going to start the engine and fill up coolant as it goes down, because as the engine warms up, the thermostat opens and fills in more nooks and crannies in the engine, so the level drops. Just keep replacing the coolant until the desired amount is reached. Now we can replace our reservoir cap, but make sure you keep an eye on it over the next couple of days to see if the level drops any. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com.